hello lovelies thanks for stopping by to watch this video let me share the delicious snacks for you let me pick one listen to it wow can you hear how crunchy and crispy is that this is perfect for movie time let me show you how it will be done boil your water get your corn meal i'm using yellow corn meal it is the best for it add sugar into the water after that add salt and now give it a good mix let it be well combined please check the comment section for the exact measurement used now get the corn meal the corn flour Pour it gently into the hot boiled water and start churning. Just like you are making swallow. You know if you want to make two or you want to make a bar. Oh, I'm like, exactly. That's how you're going to turn this. Keep mixing until the dough formed. Shout out to Akudo Shinemerim watching from Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you so much for liking our recipes. Kindly leave a comment. Please be my next person on my shout out. So let's keep mixing. This is how you're going to keep mixing it until the dough formed. All right, it has to be well cooked. Mix it thoroughly. After that, you continue to add water little by little into it. Like I've said said please check the comment section you're gonna see the measurements of the super delicious snack so you keep mixing until it is really well done all right i'm just going to pack everything to one side add some water into it and i'm going to use my spatula to push it to the other side so that the water will be well spread okay so after that cover and cook look at it after cooking on the low heat for about five to seven minutes this is what i have it is it has done let me say it has done even in fact at this stage you can make your egusi soup or your okra soup and enjoy the swallow but we ain't eating it this way we are making super yummy kokoro yes now in another bowl pour some cornmeal into it and pack that our well cooked corn meal into the flour so that it will not dry it okay so that it won't dry it up so sprinkle some flour this corn flour we are using only corn flour all right sprinkle it all over again and let it cool down completely this one is ready in fact you can leave it overnight so that it will be well 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 ready let it cool down completely like i've said you can see i've just touched it and it is ready now flour your work surface with that cornmeal again cut part of that dough and it's now time to start rolling out mold it like this in your hand fold it so that it will be ready and after that you keep doing it the way i'm doing it like this roll it out the more you roll it as long as it comes it's too big or too long cut it again until it gives you that exact uh measurement that you want let me say exactly how you want it how big you want it to be or how thin you want it to be kokoro is always like this not too big not too thin it depends on how you want it all right so this is how you're going to continue to roll it out until you finish everything the more you do it just be sprinkle some uh some of that corn flour on it it will not stick together this is what i have after i've finished rolling everything out lovely children love this my kids really helped me and they really enjoyed doing this in fact <laughs> i can't wait to do this again if you have watched up to this stage that means you are my fan please give this a thumb up comment like let me know where you're watching us from so lovely let's keep on making this after the stage now get the pot you'll be using pour your vegetable oil into it we are using vegetable oil heat it up test it if it is hot enough you can test it with uh onions or with uh skewers it doesn't matter let it be hot enough and then we're gonna start to fry so gently transfer the kokoro into the oil one after the other you can just be using your spatula just to move them around in the oil be gentle with it all right so once it is fried this is what you're going to have in fact i fried it in two places so that i will not need to waste much time 
so once it is golden brown then it is ready let's take them out take them out of the hoi can you see what i'm seeing here if you really want to have this use the yellow corn you can use white one but i used the yellow corn and i love the result this is simple perfect for movie time perfect for school snacks try this keep it at home and you will love it listen to the original sound I love the crunchiness. Perfect for movie time. It's time to go and watch movie. See you all next time. Take care of yourselves. Remember to share. Remember to love. Like, comment. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. See you all next time. Bye-bye.